Yeah, yeah, we looked, uh, we looked at the tape and, um, you know, we had an hour-long meeting there and just reviewed the game. Um, I mean, it was pretty clear that uh, in and around the contest we were, we were quite poor from probably the 10-minute mark of the third quarter through to the final siren and it, uh, it is unacceptable and we, we understand that and uh, we had a good, hard discussion around that and uh, it's something we'll be working on going forward. What do the boys say back to that when you just say them? Yeah, oh, no, that was their analysis. That they they looked at themselves. We we set them in a uh, an environment where it wasn't about coaches talking. It was about players analysing themselves, and uh, that was their their um, I guess summary of, of what they saw. Um, they were very disappointed in the fact that they didn't identify uh, the run against us uh, early early in what they did, and, and they potentially should have done a lot more than what they did about that. So. It's something we, we learn from. Uh, it's not something we're proud of, but we learn. Um, it's part of our education and uh, we pocket that and uh, we now look forward to West Coast. How do you bounce back? Like it's sort of been the same story of trying to keep the fans and everybody talking yeah. positive and it just goes back to the same thing. Yeah, look, I, I mean, for, we felt for two and a half quarters we played quite good footy and that, that was our brand of footy. Uh, we did have a lapse and it is disappointing and it is disappointing for our fans. We understand that. But uh, look, like everyone says, this, this week presents a real opportunity. Uh, we get to go, come home in front of our fans and, uh, and repay their faith. Um, we've, we've, we've said a lot of words, but it's time for us now to act, and uh, we know that. And um, the guys, as I said, the way that they analyse that and drill down, um, they, they've got a bit of a chip on their shoulder and they're not happy where we're currently at. So they're, uh, they're looking forward to uh, the next opportunity, and that's West Coast at home. So, that player, was it, so it was a player-led meeting. Is that a different strategy that... No, no, it's not different. It's just a, it was a little bit longer than, than normal. Um, like all clubs, you want you want your players to take ownership, um, not just your leaders, your whole group, uh, everyone that played. Just to, and it's good for coaches to analyse also where the playing group's at, where their IQ, footy IQ's at. Um, so nothing different. No, it was probably just drilling down a bit more about when we could have um, arrested the momentum throughout the game and identified that. And we probably identified that a bit later than normal. And uh, so that was the uh, the reason we. We did that a little bit longer than normal. Was there any passionate words from Stephen May during the meeting? Because he looked. Oh no, there, there, not no, not. I mean, Stephen spoke, but it wasn't just Stephen. It was the whole group. Um, they're all they're all really passionate. They all generally care about where this footy club's at. Um, they're not happy about that, and they're looking forward to uh, as quickly as today is getting on the train track and and, and turning that around. So, um, you know, we're all we're all in this together. Um, it wasn't just Stephen May talking passionately. It was the whole group and. Uh, yeah, they're, they're looking forward to the challenge this week. Was there any sense from the players that when you did have that 30-point buffer, some players got a bit too comfortable out there? No, nah, no, there wasn't. It just We just went away from a few core things, our, our foundation footy, and um, no, we'd, we'd never allow any of our players uh, to think like that. And, and more importantly, the players wouldn't let each other think like that. So, um, again, it was disappointing, but uh, we were really confident behind closed doors we've addressed it. And... Uh, Again, I'm looking forward. To, well, we're looking forward to this challenge this, this week. Hablet looks like he should be back. Yeah, yeah, Gaz, Gaz looks really good. He uh, he was speaking um, in that meeting as well, and, and the way he's carrying himself and walking around, he, he looks fine. So he's set to go. Yep. And Trent McKenzie, he had a pretty good game in the needle, so he could move back in. Yeah, look, Trent's, Trent's building. We probably he probably won't come into senior um, selection calculations at the moment. We want to get a little bit more of a base into him, um, just because. He's very, uh, been very unfortunate with his injuries in the past and, and some of those have been soft tissues in particular last year. So we want to get a bit more of a base underneath him before we push him to the next level. But um, still a very important player for us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, Rory, I guess that's got to be tough for him because every season he seems to just run in with another injury. How long is he looking at? Yeah, oh, no, he'll be, he'll be uh, touch and go for this weekend to play. So it has been unfortunate, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, a little bit of tightness in the hamstring. Um, he was actually really close last week, but we decided not to not to go with him um, uh, for last week's game on the back of some travel. But a home game this week presents a real opportunity, so we'll give him right up until Thursday, Friday to prove his fitness, and uh, potentially he, he comes back and, and plays at either NEFA or, or senior level, depending. If he did come back and play for um, in the senior, how much do you think he'd add to that defensive line? Oh, look, uh, Roy Thompson playing his best footy adds a lot, absolutely. And he stabilises that back, uh, back line, no doubt about that. Uh, what has happened since, uh, unfortunately, Roy being out is Jack Leslie's been playing some really good football. So, um, look, we'd have to sit down in match committee and, and go through West Coast forward line. Uh, we saw late in the game yesterday that Kennedy got in, injured, so that's a, um, you know, a tall 
out of their forward line who's potentially their best, best player. So we'll have to analyse how that goes throughout the week and see if he's a, a, a chance of playing, and that'll have a flow-on effect to how we match up down back. And uh, Will Brody, were you guys happy with what he produced in his debut? Yeah, look, you know, a first gamer, you can't expect too much out of a, a first gamer. He was brought in to um, provide some contests. He did that. He tackled, I think he was equal uh, highest tackler for us. In, and, and that's you know, a good sign about uh, what you want from your first, your first year players. Um, just gave us some effort. Uh, we'll expect he'd be better for his second run. Yeah, cool. And just finally, just the... Travel trip to China, trip to Alice. Any concerns about the toll that's taken on some players? No, nah, not at all. Not at all. We, uh, no, we look at it, uh, you know, as a as an oval with eight goalposts and, and some lines, and uh, it doesn't matter where we are. We we think we should play the same brand of footy all the time, and uh, our guys are showing no no signs of um, being taxed from the, the travel. Um, if anything, um, they're up and about today, and uh, as I said, they're motivated to have a great week on the track and and uh, come in front. Of, play in front of our, our fans at home and, and get them back on board. And has Eve, was Eve in the meeting as well? Rocket was there, yep. Did he warn players that they would be, some of them wouldn't make the cut for the team side? Oh, look, he made it really clear about what's expected and uh, we'll go down now and we'll, we'll talk to individuals about the way they conduct themselves um, on Saturday afternoon. And uh, there's no doubt there's some players there that aren't, aren't meeting the benchmark at the moment. So they put themselves into a, a vulnerable position. Um, he hasn't handpicked any guys yet in, um, individually or told them that, but uh, we'll come together again as match committee tomorrow, have that discussion and um, uh, see where that ends up. But uh, there's no doubt there's pressure on spots because when you perform like that, um, yeah, you have to make some sort of change.